Does astrology really work? Millions of people use it to make decisions in their lives. Could it all just be random noise? Well, a while ago, we decided to put sun sign astrology to the test. We looked at people's zodiac signs like Pisces or Aries. We tried to see if they can predict any of 37 facts about your life. And we found that sun signs predict not a single one of these 37 facts. This was a pretty damning result when it comes to sun signs. But a bunch of astrologers criticized us. They said, that's not a fair test because that's just tabloid astrology. Real astrologers don't use sun signs, they use your entire astrological chart. And they are absolutely correct. So taking this criticism into account, we designed a test of astrology as a whole system. So how do you scientifically test a complex system like astrology? Well, we got some very helpful feedback from six astrologers who helped us design the test. The way the study worked is that we would show each astrologer lots of information about a real person. Then they're asked which of five astrological charts is that person's true natal chart. The other four charts are decoys. There are 12 rounds of this. And so in each case, the astrologer has to try to identify the correct astrological chart. If astrologers have no skill whatsoever, that is, they do no better than random guessing, then they would get 2.4 right out of 12, which is one in five right. On the other hand, if astrologers are skilled, they should be able to get more than 2.4 right out of 12. Before I tell you the results of the study, it's interesting to look at how well astrologers believe they did. Right after they finished the study, we asked them, how many of the 12 questions do you think you got right? Well, the least experienced astrologers thought they got five out of 12 right, which is much better than random guessing. But the most experienced astrologers thought they get 10 out of 12 right. So that's how well they believe they did. But how well did they actually do? Well, remarkably, as a group, the astrologers did no better than random guessing. You can also look at the distribution of how many questions astrologers got right. And what we can see is it almost perfectly matches the distribution you'd expect if all the astrologers were just guessing at random. What about the more experienced astrologers though? Perhaps they were the ones that did better. It turns out that the more experienced astrologers did no better than the less experienced ones. Okay, so as a group, it seems like the astrologers didn't have any skill. But maybe there were some standout astrologers that did especially well. Well, out of the 152 astrologers that participated in the study, not a single one got more than five questions right. And remember that the experienced astrologers, after they completed the task, predicted that on average they got 10 questions right. Well, did the astrologers at least agree with each other what the right answer was, even if they didn't get the answer right? Remarkably, there was very little agreement on the right answers. The most experienced astrologers agreed with each other the most but they only agree with each other 28% of the time, compared to 20% of the time if they'd been answering at random. No single study can disprove astrology. It could be there exists some astrologer out there with genuine skill, but we tested 152 astrologers and we weren't able to find a single one with exceptional ability. And as a group, they did no better than random guessing. From my point of view, this provides strong evidence that either astrology doesn't work or that it's greatly exaggerated its claims. To learn a lot more about this study, and even try it for yourself to see if you have astrological skill, go to the link below on our website, clearerthinking.org.